The James Webb Space Telescope has opened a new chapter in our understanding of distant worlds, and one of the most surprising transformations has happened with Pluto, the cold world drifting at the edge of our solar system. For decades, Pluto was described as a small frozen body moving through the darkness, but new telescope data shows that this distant world is far more active and complex than anyone expected. Scientists who once considered Pluto a quiet and static place now describe it as a dynamic world filled with motion, hidden layers, and unexpected energy deep below the icy surface. These discoveries have changed the entire scene of planetary science and inspired new ideas about what worlds far from the sun can truly be. With Webb's powerful infrared vision, researchers discovered that beneath Pluto's icy crust may lie a vast underground ocean stretching across much of the landscape. This ocean seems to be protected by a thick outer shell made of frozen nitrogen and water ice, which traps heat rising from Pluto's rocky interior. The idea that liquid water could survive so far from the sun shocked many scientists, including Dr. Alyssa Greenwood, who said Pluto defies the traditional rules of planetary behavior with its surprising warmth. She explained that even tiny amounts of internal heat could maintain liquid water in a world hidden in the distant space beyond Neptune. One of the most fascinating regions revealed by the telescope is Sputnik Planitia, the heart-shaped plane that dominates Pluto's frozen surface. Once thought to be a simple sheet of frozen nitrogen, it is now believed to float above a deep layer of water, supported by the buoyancy of a subsurface ocean. The smooth, bright appearance of the region might be the result of slow-moving glaciers driven by gentle heat rising from below. Some scientists describe Sputnik Planitia as a window into Pluto's interior because its surface patterns appear to shift over long periods, showing signs of subtle geological activity beneath the icy plain. Pluto's rugged terrain reveals even more surprises. Mountains made of solid water ice rise as high as major peaks on Earth, forming dramatic structures that shouldn't exist on a body without strong internal energy sources. These formations challenge long-standing ideas about planetary geology and show that even remote objects in the Kuiper belt can have complex geological histories, shaped by processes we still don't fully understand. Researchers now believe that radioactive elements in Pluto's rocky core may continue to generate heat, creating slow but steady movement beneath the icy surface and allowing frozen landscapes to change over time. Pluto's largest moon, Charon, adds even more mystery to the icy scene. Unlike most moons, Charon is almost half the size of Pluto, creating a dual planet system where both bodies orbit a point in the space between them. This gravitational interaction produces friction and internal heat that may help keep Pluto's hidden ocean in a liquid state. Charon's own surface includes enormous canyons deeper than the Grand Canyon and a strangely colored reddish polar region shaped by chemical reactions triggered by light from distant stars. Scientists think this red material may be formed when escaping gases from Pluto reach Charon and freeze on its cold surface, creating a complex chemical dance between the two worlds. Thanks to the James Webb Telescope, Astronomers detected organic compounds scattered across Pluto's frozen ground. Some of these compounds are called tholins, which form when sunlight reacts with methane and nitrogen. These tholins do not represent life, but they are often considered the ingredients of life, because they can combine with water and other chemicals to create more advanced structures. The presence of tholins on both Pluto and Charon raises exciting questions about whether these molecules could drift into the possible underground ocean, where they might mix with other elements to form complex chemistry in the dark environment. Webb also found unexpected temperature variations across Pluto's icy landscape, patterns that do not match the weak sunlight the dwarf planet receives. This means the energy must be coming from below the frozen crust 
offering strong support for the theory that Pluto has an active interior. If parts of the subsurface are warm enough to support liquid water, the ocean beneath could be chemically rich, making Pluto one of the most intriguing places in the entire solar system. This heat likely moves slowly upward, creating patterns of warm and cold patches that scientists can track across the surface. Pluto's atmosphere adds yet another layer of mystery to the remote world. Though extremely thin, it contains nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide that shift as Pluto travels in its long orbit around the Sun. When Pluto moves closer to the Sun, the icy surface warms slightly and releases gas, forming a temporary atmosphere. When the planet moves away, the atmosphere freezes again and falls back onto the ground. This cycle of freezing and thawing is unlike anything seen on Earth or other planets, creating a constantly shifting scene that intrigues scientists studying atmospheric physics. There are also bright and dark regions scattered across Pluto and Charon that slowly change across long periods, creating patterns on the frozen surface. These shifting colors may be signs of chemical reactions triggered by sunlight and cosmic radiation, which can slowly reshape the appearance of the planet. The discoveries from Webb have also inspired new mission proposals aimed at exploring Pluto more closely. Some scientists imagine orbiters designed to map the subsurface layers using advanced scanners, while others propose landers that could drill into the icy crust and sample the frozen terrain. One ambitious idea involves sending a robotic submarine into the underground ocean by melting through the ice using nuclear-powered heat. While such technologies are still in development, researchers believe they could one day allow humanity to explore worlds we currently know only through distant views. Pluto interacts with the solar wind in unusual ways as it travels through the dark space of the Kuiper belt. Even without a strong magnetic field, Pluto appears to produce faint energy signals that Webb identified near the edges of the dwarf planet's flowing atmosphere. These signals may reveal that Pluto experiences a weak form of magnetic activity or interacts with charged particles in unexpected patterns. If confirmed, this would add another surprising element to Pluto's long list of mysteries and offer insights into how atmospheres behave in the distant regions of space. Scientists around the world are now calling Pluto one of the most important destinations for future exploration. Many describe it as a gateway world that helps us understand how planets evolve in distant regions. The combination of geology, chemistry, atmosphere, and possible habitability makes Pluto an essential target for anyone interested in finding life beyond Earth. With private space companies joining international space agencies, missions to the Kuiper Belt may arrive sooner than expected, giving humanity its first close look at this distant landscape. Every new discovery from the James Webb Telescope deepens curiosity and reshapes our understanding of what worlds like Pluto can be in the vast universe. Once dismissed as a frozen speck drifting through the dark void, Pluto is now seen as a world filled with endless questions and unexpected energy. As scientists continue to analyze fresh data and debate new theories, more clues about Pluto's true nature are sure to emerge. The exploration of this distant world is just beginning, and each revelation brings us closer to understanding how life might one day survive in the far reaches of space. Many experts believe that studying Pluto can also teach us valuable lessons about how planets form in the earliest stages of a solar system. Dr. Leon Ramirez, a planetary scientist, explained that Pluto may preserve ancient materials from the time when the Sun was still forming, acting like a chemical time capsule. These preserved elements provide rare information about what the early system looked like during its chaotic formation. Another intriguing idea is the possibility that Pluto once had cryovolcanoes erupting cold, slushy material across the frozen landscape. 
Some surface features resemble ancient flows that appear to have moved slowly across the icy ground, suggesting bursts of internal heat in the distant past. These eruptions could have delivered nutrients and warmth into the underground ocean, creating favorable conditions for complex chemistry. Cosmic rays also play an important role in shaping Pluto's surface chemistry. These high-energy particles strike the frozen ground and produce reactions that build carbon-based compounds over millions of years. When mixed with water beneath the crust, these compounds may form richer molecules essential for life-related processes. Future missions may study Pluto's rotational history, as some scientists believe the planet may have tilted sideways in a dramatic shift called true polar wonder, altering the entire orientation of the icy surface. This idea could explain the exact position of Sputnik Planitia and reveal deeper insights about Pluto's internal structure. Pluto's atmospheric haze is another key feature that scientists hope to explore further. Webb detected several thin layers rising above the frozen terrain, possibly trapping small amounts of heat that help warm the subsurface ocean. If this is true, Pluto's fragile atmosphere may play a surprising role in supporting the planet's internal environment. As research continues, scientists stress that discoveries like these expand our understanding of where life might exist in the distant cosmos. If a cold, remote world like Pluto can hold liquid water and support active chemistry, then many more hidden oceans may be waiting in the dark regions of space far from their stars. Scientists are also focusing on the unusual way Pluto reflects sunlight. Webb's instruments show that some regions reflect far more light than expected, while others absorb it in strange patterns. These differences suggest that Pluto's surface is being renewed over time by ongoing natural processes. Dr. Hannah Kim noted that these reflectivity patterns are too organized to be random, hinting at cycles of slow resurfacing driven by internal energy. Another promising study involves Pluto's interaction with the Kuiper Belt environment. Because Pluto travels through a region filled with icy debris and dust, scientists believe it may collect or exchange particles over millions of years. These interactions could slowly alter the surface chemistry, contributing to the planet's wide variety of Beneath Pluto's mysterious surface, expanding our understanding of distant icy worlds and shaping the future of planetary science. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.